Hello, people of the internet. So I've been playing Test Drive Unlimited Platinum for a couple days now and I'm really enjoying it, but it did take me a few days to learn how to install and there are not really many resources out there when it comes to installing all the mods and everything that comes with it. So I figured that I would make a really quick, real short tutorial on how to install the game, the mods, and a couple add-ons that I use. I don't necessarily use all of them, but I will be showing you how to install the ones that I use so then you can use that knowledge to install any other mods you might want to use. So if you guys know anything about my tutorials, I like to make them really simple, really to the point. And you know, if you're finding this video, it's either because you're subscribed to me or it's because you're trying to find a way to install it. And it took me a few days to figure everything out. So I hope I can share this information with everybody and just give you a quick 15 minute video, 10 minutes maybe to get an idea. So first thing you want to do is install Test Drive Unlimited. Now, of course, I own a copy of the game. I totally did not pirate it, but if you wish to pirate it and break the copyright laws of the region you live in, you may go right ahead. I do not condone it. So for the sake of this video, I completely own a PC copy of Test Drive Unlimited. So, but if you do wish to download it, I will supply a link in the description of this video along with links for everything else you need for the video. Um, you can either install the ISO image or you can torrent it. And once you get that, you can install it. It'll just come in a folder like this and you just drag the game files to your desktop. So now I will be doing that. Okay, now you got your game files. It is very important that you follow the steps in this tutorial the same way that I do them. So you don't want to install the vanilla game and then start playing it and then install the mod because you will have issues that I will expand upon later. So make sure you just install the vanilla base game and then you're going to install Test Drive Unlimited Platinum. So I'll have the link right here, as I said, and once you get that downloaded, open it up and you want to overwrite or replace all the files from the mod with the ones from the base game. And I should preface this by saying it is very important. It is modding 101. You back up all of your files. Um, I'm not doing it for the sake of this tutorial, but it's especially important with your game save. Make sure you back up any files that you're going to overwrite that you think you might need. So we'll go this test drive unlimited folder. We will just drag it and drop it. So like I said, it'll ask you if you want to replace the files in the destination. Make sure you say yes, and it will keep going. Okay, so now you have Test Drive Unlimited and Test Drive Unlimited Platinum installed. So now what you want to do is install the latest patch. This patch came out, let's see, came out in 2019 and was updated in 2022. So it's a little bit newer. So you're just going to hit download. I forgot to mention that you will need an account on TurboDuck to install or to download files from there, but you know, it's quick. You can turn off any notifications or email pings, anything like that. It's pretty simple. So just make an account on here and then download files. So now we go here to platinum update patch version 1.21 and then same concept. Actually, hold on real quick. Yeah, I'm going to install the HD Unlimited um, 1536 megabyte graphics card version because if, depending on the kind of graphics card you have, I have a pretty nice graphics card. So I'm going to add these to um, this directory right here. So that way, um, oh, so this download I'm using, I'm not installing it into my programs files folder. I am just putting it onto the desktop. Um, it may cause issues for you. I'm not entirely sure. I was just running it fine. My first install, I did install it into the program files. I'm not exactly sure why I wasn't able to this time. Either way, it should be the same concept. Either way, you're going to have your game files and then you're going to have your documents folder, which I'll be showing you later. So wherever your game files located, it doesn't necessarily matter. Just make sure you're putting it in the right path. So I'm going to be putting these files into this path right here. And yeah, we're just going to overwrite the files because the game does come with a couple different mods inside of the folder. There's some extras and things, so you definitely want to go through and just kind of look at it. Like, I don't necessarily want the prize cars. You can get those if you'd like. The toolkit, um, 
you know, if you really want to go crazy and just add every single mod you can, if you speak Russian, you can get the Russian mod. Um, yeah. So we're done with that. So we're back to the update patch. And yeah, if you want to do the expert bots, you can. Uh, the bots in the game are pretty easy, so you can make the bots a little bit harder. I don't necessarily want to. Um, and then, yeah, so you're going to do the same thing. Just go into your game files and drag and drop and overwrite. So same thing as last time, it's going to ask you to replace the files in the destination. Make sure you do that and you can continue. Okay, and just like that, you have Test Drive Unlimited, Platinum, and the latest patch installed. So now you are going to open the Project Paradise launcher, which for future reference, I recommend only opening the game with the launcher. Because sometimes if you open it with testdriveunlimited.exe, it can be a little bit glitchy. I never really have any issues with the launcher. So what you want to do, if you want to do windowed, you can. I turn on VSync. Well, actually, I'm going to turn it off. But sometimes if you turn on VSync, it'll cause issues and you have to turn it off and vice versa. And then I'm going to turn off, or I'm going to turn on HD, excuse me, because I need those good graphics. And you want to make sure you turn on Big Bink. So it's required for the mods that we are going to be using today. And then once those are all set, you're all good to go. We can start this thing up. And your screen might kind of glitch out a little bit every time you open it. It's totally, totally normal. And as you can, oh, oh, there we go. So this is where you want to decide if you want an online account or an offline account. Personally, I recommend doing an online account even if you just want to play offline because I think there might be a way to turn off online. I'm not entirely sure, but either way, it doesn't really make a difference, especially because to be honest, the game really is not active. I've only seen a handful of people on here. So you want to make your nickname something that you actually want to have is like your screen name. So I'll do NDX. And I'm going to choose GameSpy ID because I want to play online. And again, I recommend doing it. If you don't want to, you don't have to, but you're going to wish you did if you decide later on that you want to go online. Your email and password, they don't have to be your actual email or password. I don't recommend putting it in. You can just do generic email at generic email.com. And my password will be generic password. So just make sure it's still the, the structure of an email and it's a regular password. And try not to make your nickname too long. It kind of doesn't like it when you do that. And then that should work. Okay, so sometimes when you make an account, it will kind of glitch out like that, which has happened. I know I might've put it in fast forward, but you just basically have to close the game, make a new a new account. Cause I've just installed and reinstalled the game like twice before I did this. So it might still be reading my old account somewhere. I'm not entirely sure, but if that happens to you, then just close the game and then make a new account with a new email and password and a new username. So now I'm, instead of NDX, I am example nickname. So. Now you want to start a new game and you are going to have to beat, you're going to have to go through this scene where you choose your character, you get a rental car, you get a place, you get a new car, and then you get the first race done. And then um, once you do all that, then you can start going online. So let me just skip ahead a little bit and I'll explain more after, after this. Your itinerary is being recalculated. Let me turn down my volume. Once you reach this point in the game, you can either not use a 100% save file and just play the game, you know, play the story mode or whatever, like you normally would in a regular video game. And, um, you know, if, I, if you've never played this game before or you're just coming back to it after a while, then I'd recommend doing that just for the fun of it. But you now have to, if you're going to do that, if you're going to use a 100% save file, you have to go through the following steps that I just mentioned. And then once you are able to go online, then I will show you from there. So I'm just gonna do that real quick and then I'll skip ahead to that part. Okay, so now you have 
gotten your rental card, you got your place, you got your main car, and you did the first race. So now that you're back at your apartment, you can go online and if you want from here, you can just play through the story mode like you would in the regular game and all that. But if you want to get a 100% save file with you know a bunch of money and all the cars and all that, then you can keep watching from here. Um, unless you want the cloud mod, you can pretty much stop the game from here and that's it. But if you want the cloud mod and the 100% game, then this is what we're going to do. So you are going to exit the game after you pull out of your garage. <laughs> Okay, we're going to exit the game, and we are going to take our 100% save file. It's going to be this link right here from savesforgames.com. I found another one um, that had less money, so I, I recommend using this one because it has like $400 million in like every single car. So you're going to take that. You're going to take the server oops, and the profile list and drag them both to your desktop. And inside of here is going to be your 100% save file and the player, the profile list for it. And this is where things get a little bit difficult, um, but I was able to do it. So I feel like with this video, anybody should be able to do it. You are now going to download a hex editor. I use this one in this video, um, but you can use whichever one you want really. Um, I personally don't know a thing about hex editors. So this was all very you know, new to me. But what we're going to do is take a certain section of your regular game file, the one that has the online, and swap it to the one that has the 100% save file, and then replace your save file with the new one. Sounds confusing, but I will show you how to do this. So what we are going to do is open up Hex Workshop. You're going to go Tools, Compare, Compare Files, okay? Your source, it doesn't necessarily matter which order it's in, but... Um, your source is going to be, um, for, for this video, we're going to use your save file that you just made um, in, in the game. So we're gonna go to documents, test drive unlimited, save game, example nickname. So this will be whatever you chose for your name, player save and player save file. Okay, you're gonna open that. You're gonna go to target and you are going to go to the desktop and then to the, where was it? to the server folder, player save, and then player save. So now that you got those, you're going to do resynchronizing compare, and then okay. So now on the left, you have the save file from the vanilla game that, or from the, the, from the game, the game save that you just made. That's my distinction. The game save you just made and the 100% save file. So that is on the right. We have the two right here. The one that you just made and the 100%. What we are going to do, I have this written down, you're going to copy the first 50 decimals from your online save file into the first 50 of your offline, okay? So how we're gonna do this is going to your one on the left, edit, go to, you're gonna type in 50, choose decimals, and then beginning of file. So it'll take you right here to 89. You're going to take that, you're going to copy, control C, you know, or if you wanna right click it, you can do that. And you're gonna do the same thing over here. Oops. So you go over here on the right, edit, go to 50, beginning of file, go. And you're gonna end up at 89. So you're going to select that and then paste and overwrite it. So rewind that if you need to watch it again. It took me about an hour or two to figure this out on my own. So you're gonna take the first 50 decimals from here and copy and paste it into the first 50 decimals of the one over here. So then you're going to exit out of this window on the left and you're going to do file, save as, and to make it simple, I'm just gonna save it to the desktop. I hope that works. Um, that should work. Yeah, so now you got the save file right here. What you're going to do, I might even recommend just deleting this, the one that you just got. Well, I'm gonna leave it for now. So now you're gonna to go to your documents, test drive unlimited, save game, go to your profile. You're gonna have two player save folders. You go to your first one and overwrite it. 
Oh shoot, I gotta close Hex Workshop. So make sure you close Hex Workshop first. You're going to override it. And then you're going to go to the second folder and do the same thing. Oops. Um, make sure when you, you drag and drop it, you copy it. Um, and not, yeah. So then the same thing, you're gonna overwrite the one in the player save two folder. And then if I did everything right, I don't believe I have to update the profile list. This should work. So now let's go fire up Test Drive Unlimited and see what happens. And yep, it worked. So if you see hardcore mode, that means it worked. So now, as you can see, it's my same save folder that I just made, but now I can go online with this 100% because the 100% save file you can't go online with. So you have to swap that part of the save file with your one that you just made. So now I'm on my profile and I have $400 million. So I live in a ginormous penthouse and I can go online. So now that you got that done, I will show you how to do the last mod that I use. And then that will show you how to install any other ones because it's pretty much the same all around. So now that I know I got this working, let's close out of the game. And we are going to install the clouds because if you saw in the gameplay, it looked better this time around, but when I first installed the game, the clouds, it didn't show any clouds. The sky looked really generic. So I want really nice, you know, skyscapes to make it really look like, you know, Hawaii during the sunset or something. Okay, so we're going to go to this link right here in the description. Um, uh, you can ignore all this writing. Uh, it's very weird. I, I think this guy doesn't really speak English that well. I believe he's German. So, but you want to go... Um, I forget which one I installed. I believe I installed the original 2013 version, but you might be able to install the 2015. Just kind of try it out, see for yourself. But once you, for the sake of this video, I, I'm using the 2013 version that's listed right here. So you want to install that or download it, my bad. I keep saying install. Okay, so you're going to go into the Euro folder. This is in the game files, your Euro, Bink, and FX. And you're going to take um, weather, HDRI, weather, desk, weather, HDRI config, and FX. These are all INI files, and you're going to take them, throw them in here, and replace the files in the destination. And I believe that's all you have to do. I'm not entirely sure how all these work. I mean, I don't know if there's a way for them to cycle through. Um, so for all I know, I believe that what I'm installing, it'll only show that sun, or that, it'll only show that skyscape for the entire time you're playing. Not entirely sure. Um, that one's, you're gonna kinda have to, you know, mess around with it on your own. But then we will open the game. So as you can see, the sky, and you know, it adds a little bit of shaders and stuff. It looks pretty cool. So I, I believe it should cycle through because when I installed this, it looked very different. It looked a lot more orange in the sky. And so it should cycle through, I believe. Um, if not, you know, he he has a bunch of different updates. So you can always just, it's, it's five files. You can just toss them all in and kind of mess around. But by this point, you pretty much got everything you need for the game. You know, you got platinum, you got the patch, you got your 100% 100% save file, you got the clouds, got pretty much everything you need. So one thing I will say about this mod is that the radio doesn't work and I don't know how to fix it. So if any of you guys know how to fix it, you know, leave a comment, let me know because I was trying really hard to get that to work and I couldn't figure it out. So yeah, I think that'll do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and hope you guys got the game running and working and you're enjoying it. So peace out.